Hello everybody. The eruption in the Fagradalsfjall system in Iceland continues and has now been erupting for 22 days. In the past three days, the eruption has been showing obvious signs of decreased activity. And on July 29th, new data came where we saw clearly the numbers had also been decreasing. This downtrend suggests that the eruption is not going to stabilize and thus end in the coming weeks. As this eruption seems to be ending, the island of Iceland decided to move activity somewhere else. But on July 30th, an earthquake swarm began in the Torvajökull caldera. Let's dive deeper into the details of these news. So, the eruption in the Fagradalsfjall system has continued its steady decline since it started on July 10th. As with every new measurement our experts carry out, the output decreases. The most recent measurements were conducted on July 31st, so pretty fresh as this video is being made on August 1st. On that day, the lava field had covered 1.5 square kilometers, which made our estimate in the previous video pretty close. Most of the expansion has been happening in the southernmost point of the lava field, with lava traveling from the crater through tunnel systems, but there are also three lava lakes on the way. Since the data is so new, these numbers haven't changed much, but the lava field has definitely continued expanding to the south, but from July 23rd to 31st, the lava expanded on average 0.04 square kilometers per day. So, we can assume it has also done so from July 31st to August 1st, so the lava field still covers around 1.5 square kilometers. The volume of erupted lava is probably somewhere between 13 to 15 million cubic meters, but our experts were not able to do good measurements to get a more accurate answer due to a couple of reasons. And this all meant that from July 23rd to 31st, lava output had been 5 to 6 cubic meters per second on average. But our experts estimate that the current number on August 31st is probably around 3 to 4 cubic meters per second. So, this is definitely a big decrease since the last measurements from July 18th to 23rd, where lava output was 8 cubic meters per second. The new measurements were pretty detailed, but our experts also measured the average thickness of the lava field, with the result being 10 meters, and the thickest regions, excluding the crater, being around 35 meters. The height of the crater is probably around 40 meters, but as activity has decreased and the lava levels in the crater have dropped, the crater walls have been collapsing in on themselves as they've lost their support, so the crater has lost a bit of height. But what is with the activity in the Torvajökull caldera? Some of you may have heard about it, but on July 30th, an earthquake swarm began within the Torvajökull caldera, with the largest earthquake being 3.2 in magnitude. This activity does not mean an eruption is imminent as the earthquake swarm has already stopped. This was instead most likely related to changes in Torvajökull's thermal systems. But these thermal systems are huge, as you can see from this Google Earth view, with the yellow color being geothermally altered terrain. This thermal system has led to the creation of some spectacular landscapes. So, now that we've got the most recent data, we can get a better idea of the eruption's state. As the decrease in activity was drastic, it's pretty safe to assume we are in the final stages, but in the past week, activity has decreased by 30 to 50 percent. If output continues to decline, at this rate, the eruption will probably end within the next one or two weeks, but the odds of activity picking back up are really low. So, in these final moments, we just have to enjoy through live streams from Isaac and the 24-7 cameras, or, if you're lucky, go pay a final visit. I just want to thank everyone who made it here. Definitely leave any speculations and questions in the comments. It's always fun to read them. Other than that, I just hope you enjoyed. I also hope to see most of you in the next video, and thanks for watching.